to align multiple genomes in LaserGene, launch SeqMan Engine, then create a new whole genome templated assembly. Next, load your reference sequence or genome template package. For this example, we'll be assembling multiple Salmonella strains, and I'm going to use the Heidelberg strain GenBank file as my reference sequence. Here, you can also enter a VCF file if you have one. This will allow you to compare SNP positions of interest between genomes. Next, select your read technology and load your sequence data. Here, I'm loading FASTQ files for eight different Salmonella strains. I'm going to check multi-sample data, and for most cases, we recommend running multiple samples as separate assemblies. Then, name your experiments, either by typing in a name or using the Auto Name button to create names based on the file name. Optionally, you can specify a control genome if you have one. On the Assembly Options page, select the variant detection mode you wish to use. In this case, we want haploid. You can also adjust the SNP filtering stringency. Note that in the Advanced Assembly Options, there are several variant filters available. The filters listed at the top of the window can be adjusted after assembly. Then name your project, select a project folder, and start your assembly. Once the assembly is complete, you can open all of the aligned genomes in ArraySTAR for SNP analysis. Then we'll choose to load SNPs from the entire genome. And if you're working with human data, you can also import annotations from the DNA star variant annotation database. In this case, since we're working with bacterial genomes, we'll leave this unchecked. Then click Next, and then Finish to import the SNP data. Now you can see all of the assemblies listed in the experiment view. Open the SNP table to see the variants called at each position for all of the assembled genomes simultaneously. By default, this list is filtered to show only SNPs from the VCF file that also meet the SNP criteria specified during assembly setup. Note that each SNP row shows the user ID from the VCF file, and at each position, you can see which strains match the reference genome and which strains have synonymous or non-synonymous SNPs. You can easily modify what SNPs are displayed here using the quick filter options at the top of the window. Or select Filter, Filter All to do more advanced filtering on the gene or SNP level. For example, let's look for SNPs in one of the experiments that are non-synonymous and have a PNOT ref of at least 90 and a depth of at least 10. You can see this locates just over 6,000 SNPs. We can save this SNP set and then repeat the search for other samples in our project. After identifying SNP sets of interest, you can use Venn diagrams to visually compare the sets. So for example, here we can see that two of the strains contain many differences from the reference genome, while a third strain has relatively few variants. We can use this information to look at interesting subsets. For example, the SNPs that are missing from the two more divergent strains. For specific SNPs of interest, you can send to SeqMan Pro to view the read alignment at that location.